Well, I did. Yeah. I did have one other thing, and 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 well, you can stop me if if we're going like into forbidden territory or something. But uh, uh, you know, my brother Barney, he's he's in South Carolina, but uh, he he's still got a lot of connections around here in Georgia. Uh, he he's been saying that these rumors floating around, uh, and and he's saying that that some of these old hellraisers like Dr. Sanjay and maybe some others uh, done called up another TV station in Tulsa. You know, you know anything about that? I've heard something, yes. Oh. I've heard something about that, and, and uh, I don't know exactly what they said or what the station wants to know, but uh, do you know the, what the station wants to know? Do you know? Have you heard anything about that? Well, as a matter of fact, <laughs> uh, well, one of his connections has got a hold of something, and, uh, well... If it's okay, I thought I'd just like to maybe ask you a couple of things here on the air. Is that all right with you? Sure. Sure, no problem. Okay. okay. Here we go. Uh, this will be good. Uh, how many people do you believe that you've cured? Okay. First of all, we never say you are cured, meaning no cancer could ever come back. We never say that. We just tell them whatever you said you have or the tests are saying you have, we treat it because it was a, uh, an occurrence that we could handle. We treat it, and that growth is dead. The cancer is dead. Since you didn't have any other occurrences anywhere else, dead tissue cannot spread, so it's not going to go anywhere. You're not going to have any other occurrences. Besides, there are many research papers indicating that when you treat cancer with um, photodynamic therapy, that forms some kind of... Uh, almost a vaccination in your system so you can never get the same type of cancer again. You might have a different type because of, of the problems you had, but that type of cancer will not come back. Oh. But, the problem, but the problem is that a lot of patients are under pressure by the system and uh, are being told that, that they are not okay, they do the wrong type of testing, they are not okay, they need treatment, and they go for a treatment that they don't need and they shouldn't have because it's really damaging. So... How many didn't go? Uh, it's usually about 50-50, maybe, uh, maybe between 50 and 60 that know better and don't go back, and the rest go back. So it's it okay. just like a yeah, standard statistic. I was going to ask you that, too, because you, you, you said before that, that don't everybody really do for the right thing after, after the, the treatment. So it's about 50-50. No, very – yeah, about that, yeah. Oh, Okay. Let's see here. Uh, can you explain how this treatment works, and why do you believe that it is effective? Okay. First of all, it's not that I believe, but it is science that says it, believe, it happens. What the art treatment does cooks the tumor in place, and there is a certain temperature at which the human body, the tissue in the human body, dies. It cannot survive. And there are plenty of papers proof that that temperature is what does the job. And we go yes. a little higher than that temperature. So basically, there is no way the tissue affected can survive. Just like saying, if you throw an egg in a pan, does it cook all the time or only sometimes? Can you cook fried eggs all the time or not? If you got the heat. Yes. Yeah, you can cook them out all the time. Same temperature, same uh, time it takes, they, they cannot survive. They, they're all going to get cooked. And the same live tissue can get cooked the same way. So it's not that I believe, it is a fact. Okay? Hmm. Okay, okay. Ex-patients, ex-patients says that you told them that you could kill cancer in every case. Is that true? Of course it is. The cases of cancer that we can handle are successful. The patient lives with a dead tumor. There is no escaping. The tumor is dead, like I said before. We reach a temperature at which the human tissue cannot survive. It's only done in a way that only the tumor reaches that temperature and nothing else. That's how the patient has no problem and the cancer does, serious problem and dies. What, what you just said, that's, that's pretty much the, the science behind uh, all forms of PDT, like including that big place in, uh, in, in Europe 
and uh, other places is doing it. That's PDT in general, right? It is. Unfortunately, though, most physicians are too stupid to understand what's happening, and they go into this elaborate explanation that the light it causes a chemical reaction with the drug, and so that, uh, that uh, creates oxygen, and supposedly oxygen kills cancer, which is ridiculous. So that is only done to justify the use of a drug because the drugs bring more money than a natural compound. That's all. And uh, because they really don't understand what they're doing. But it is the same thing, okay? And in fact, there is plenty of information on what happens after PDT. Okay, we're back from the commercial break, and we are back to the questions from Arnie. Okay, go ahead. Um, What do you tell patients about the chances they will be cured? I tell the patient that whatever they had, if what they had was only the location I treated, that is dead and it doesn't constitute a threat anymore, they don't really have anything else to worry about. Now, that does not mean that someday they cannot get another type of cancer. That depends on the drugs they intake for whatever reason. That depends on a lot of factors. They could. That doesn't mean that they cannot have another type of of cancer. But the chances of that, that cancer cannot regrow. The one they have that I killed cannot regrow because uh, any dead thing doesn't come back to life. Resurrection does not exist, and not even for cancer. Well, if if, if somebody's uh, if somebody's coming in there and say they got they got something hiding that ain't really been uh, manifest yet, uh, I guess you can't really do nothing about what you can't uh, see, right? What I cannot feel, anyway. Yeah, what I cannot okay. detect and I cannot feel. They didn't know about it. That that is not possible. Okay. okay. All right. Um, let's see, uh, your website, your website says the race for the cure is over. Now, exactly what does that mean? What it means is that we kill the cancer in place. So we do not produce any bleeding that causes spreading. We do not use any ionizing that radiation that causes other cancer. We do not use any drugs that can cause other cancer. We don't use anything that can be damaging to the body, and we kill what's there. So the chances of spreading and reoccurrences are minimal. They could happen, but they are minimal. We cannot say that cannot happen. However, even if they, ha- they happen, it is so easy to, re- to treat the new occurrence because our treatment has no bad side effects. So it's no limitation in the number of times it can be used. So you have two, three reoccurrences. It doesn't matter. It can be repeated because it's natural, doesn't have any side effects, doesn't do any damage to your body, and you're fine after the treatment. So it basically, uh, if you needed it, indefinitely many many times you can still be treated many many times and that makes uh, the desperate race for a cure unnecessary it doesn't mean anything also we need a cure because otherwise your life is in danger it is no longer in danger we can destroy it when it's needed when it's needed assuming of course that the race for the cure ever existed because how many years has that been going on 40 50 years and nothing has been found other than early detection you need to go and get mammograms early so we can butcher and poison you early to protect you from cancer and actually the mammograms are the one that cause cancer so, they, they, so. they've done raised a lot of money i know they've raised a lot of money yeah they have over the years a lot I heard, I don't know, I heard that is in uh, in the billions level, so. Wow. Man. So, uh, so really the money they raised ain't really going towards any kind of cure, just going toward keeping the same uh, no. old, same old. Basically, yes. Mm. So. Okay. Uh, dur- uh, let's see, during, during the months following treatment, do you tell the, your patients that they're cancer-free? I tell the patient that the tumor is dead, dead, hopelessly dead, because no blood flow in the tumor, like I show them, or if they come back because they're worried, I show them again, no blood flow means no life. Why do you think that people that have a heart attack go to the hospital and they try to restart the heart immediately? Why? Because there is no life without blood flow. The heart pushes the blood, creates the blood flow in the body, and keeps you alive. So without blood flow, 
the tumor is dead. Blood flow inside, not on the outskirt, because that is the uh, immune system removing the dead tissue. That's uh, just a normal activity of the body. Inside the tumor, if there is no blood flow, that tumor is not alive. And that's what I tell it. And uh, what is your proof that uh, this is really a continuance of the previous question? Uh, uh, what is your proof that these patients is cancer free? Well, as I said before, the ultrasound with color Doppler, you know, going back to the superhuman eye, uh, right. will tell you if there is blood flow inside. If there is no blood flow inside, the tumor is not alive. Now, if for any reason the tumor is out of the skin, as is exposed to air, it falls apart like an in dead body, and, but it falls apart in a particular way and has a particular correlation that anybody in the medical establishment should recognize that is dead decomposition, not to mention the smell. The smell of dead tissue is, uh, it's, uh, cannot be mistaken by somebody in the medical. So that's what I tell them. But if they are not convinced or they want to do something else, the other thing to do is have a CT scan with contrast.